time to bring up the extensions for the train versus Neon Esports. All right, time to bring your bad boys up. All right, done. Beautiful. Can Prepare for red battle. Cut. Oh, that red is cuts. too good. That's nice. I'm really freaking out. Now, cameraman, please get into the game so I can actually use you. Thank you. No. 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 Finally. Seems like there might be some server problems. Beautiful. For some reason, I also have 191 ping. I think the camera is stuck. Let's just use someone else instead. Let me see. Yeah, this guy's still stuck. Not sure why. And the end. Fly Soul is gonna actually gonna spot out. How should I call them? Yeah, last two are here. 30 seconds to battle! And I suppose the train's gonna... Yeah. Actually gonna stay in this for most of the time. How long is the fate time? But whatever. So Rune Star is gonna be two for two. When the horn blows, the blood flows. Life Seeder, quite afraid of Train Protector. Or me? Oh, right. They're actually afraid of the. Uh, Courier snipe, which is gonna happen right Radiant's about now. Courier has been killed. <laughs> Rest in peace, Radiant Courier. We're really gonna grant the edge for the Morphling, with the storm having no courier, or the entire team to be exact. Lapsir moving towards top lane. Meanwhile, Oracle is actually getting wrecked. As well as Omni Knight. Ooh. He actually wanted to land a hit, but he didn't couldn't. Six seconds before he can actually go in this again. So Tommy is gonna trade a lot of hits and stun coming out from Mark. Getting stunned back as well and getting run down by YRG. Sentries are gonna get countered, and Skadoosh is actually gonna fall with level one attribute shift. Not gonna be enough. Everywhere. So AQ Dyer's actually able to hold his ground attack. even after the curse night. Kind of interesting matchup mid lane. So I'm hitting quite hard with that seven. Not damage. as impressive as the original. It's kind of delicious looking to actually go for the morph, but it's actually gonna die once again. You blew it. Dying twice in one minute doesn't really look that favorable for morph here. But meanwhile, bottom lane, some denies being done. Darkseer is getting most of the farm. More fleeing. After dying, I doesn't even have the uh, gold for TP. Had to waveform twice. I should go back to lane ASAP. And I should consume a mango for that as well. 
Because he's much needed. Might actually screw up here again. Really, really looking hard for Morphling. Darkseer saving the Nyx right there. The three-man attempt doesn't really work out there. Oracle, even after the uh, attack animation nerf to actually taunt him down in the laning phase, still actually looking to be pretty good. And mid lane, I can hear something from Morphling and Storm. Might be a bit of clash here again, but Morphling's gonna stay fine. Morphling ba morphing back towards age agility and healing up. Right about now. Yep. Speed the brush. Grimstroke collecting the haze. Coming in with maybe the ink swell. Yep. Right here. Cameraman, bottom, please. Oh god, yeah. It's gonna be a kill for Grimstroke. Oh. With that haze plus <clears throat> ink swell. He's gonna secure the full damage, most likely. No, no. Resulting in the kill on the docks, yeah, shutting him down for a bit. Huzzah! A bit of strength. Morph. Morphling is gonna get away and pushing the storm out of lane for a bit. Things seem to be a bit more better for Morphling after he gets the uh, level 2 morph. Should be a lot better when he gets level 3, as in getting hitting level 5. Once again, but they're actually failing to kill Doxia and losing the runes towards the Nyx. He's actually gonna get another rune, and it's gonna be three bounties for four, even four bounties for four of the dream. Morphling spotting Nyx here, but couldn't really do anything, and it's gonna go for a sh four man shrine at five minutes. Looking really, really good for For the Dream at the moment with all the last hits and everything. Last healer, let's see, side up for a bit. Yeah, approaching the hand of Midas, quite a few, on probably under 10 minutes. Yeah, in a minute. Or two. Whoa, what I miss? One thing getting quite pressured. Please go back to last of the nice. Oh, shoot! Skeletish is actually getting outplayed by Oracle, planting the ward down about half a minute ago. And then coming back to actually snipe trouble. with the pure prime flame. One dire again? 180 damage. Dire up a barricade. Oh, damn. And now dire's Raindrop is actually going to be a must for him. Darkseer doesn't really have any means to escape. He's actually going to get hit, but the shrine is going to save the day. Middle tower is under attack. Buying him enough time for Oracle to come and help, help him. And he's gonna search away like nothing happened. Nyx following two, landing the stun, as well as Storm. And this seems to be a dead fan. The rules of battle dictate your demise. Not looking good at all. And now bottom lane, cameraman, please, I want to see bottom lane, right? And they're actually going to land the hit on the docks here, and the YRG is going to go down. One more kill for Fly Solo. Morphling, getting really hard pressured by the Storm, which is actually two levels above him. Three denies as Morphling against that 11. Denies. Oof. Ball trade. 
Did you trade the ball? You. No. Haste. Oracle is actually gonna miss the rune. Going towards Morphling, but he's gonna get pushed right away with a Q. Is he finding out where this entry is? Would it have more? No, no, no. No, seems like it's gonna be time to shine for Trion for a bit. A fake animation, but seems like he might know it. Actually, didn't actually go on the Nyx. So they're quite afraid of the spike carapace, which is actually getting a little max out. 2.25, 1.8 duration. Oh, you're right. 2.25 for flag duration, stun for 1.8. 15 seconds. Oh, Storm picking up the kills on top lane. Making left a bit much easier, and he's gonna go for the omelet. Seems like no radiance this game, so for the dream, looking to seal the deal quite early with all the advantage in the laning phase they've got. Dyer's top tower might be going down. Next, actually use my carapace. Doesn't really help even with a surge and. He's gonna fall down, and probably even Doxy as well. TP coming out from Oracle. Will they actually fall back? No, they actually want to go for more. And that's gonna be one Doxy down as well, as well as Oracle. And this is might be a momentum back for Neon Esports. Four people rotation. TPing right down after getting kill top. Making a bit of play for the team. Otherwise, he's gonna look grim for them. But not for long. Purified. Dyer's middle tower looks to be disintegrating. Uh, oh shoot! Now the Doctor is actually Healing getting shock. followed as well. Radiant Surging out with all the heals. Attack. Seems like it's gonna Dyer's get away. Middle tower is under attack. Meanwhile, while you guys are busy uh, on bottom lane, Swarm Radiant's and Nyx is gonna actually push the tower. Dyer's middle tower Warp looks to be disintegrated. to go top lane. Can't really stay mid. I'm actually gonna Dyer's pressure middle tower last turn for a bit. Dyer's structures are fortified. But with a few more gold. Dyer's actually, middle tower probably looks getting to be the armlet. Right Radiant's now. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Is he? Waiting for the courier. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yep, that's gonna be face boot. Radiant's bottom face tower has fallen. First. Morphling might actually getting sniped here. Dyer's middle Having tower more than half of the strength now. So Nyx uh, is actually aware of that. So I'm not going to go on him. Giving up the tower while Morphling TP out. Since I guess he sensed the infinity do. Yep, now they saw it. The right choice for Dyer's Morphling to actually go for him. Is under attack. Middle lane. Meanwhile, you know, top lane, Trian TPing up with the overgrowth. And healed out living over. But he's going to be denied the tower. Oof, actually getting focused down. I guess they got the sentry down. <laughs> Did they? Not so sure, but either way, Jin actually fell. As well as Darks here. But with the cause of Trian, that might actually be worth it since he's only cost, what, 178 gold? In return of denying the top tower, the tier 1. Which has actually sold down the. Uh, Strategy from For the Dream a bit to actually seal the deal of the game early and mid game as well. Uh, Radiant are scanning for enemies. Nyx looking to scout out with a bit of mana pots. Oh, smoke actually broken. Treat might be actually s sent something. Might actually put the dwarves down and he actually sends a Nyx. But that would be too late since Grimstroke is actually getting wrecked. The attempt on Sun Seam comes out, but it's gonna be only two hits and he's gonna get out like nothing happens. Immediate smoke 
after retreating back. So Neon is not aware of this. Bottom towers under attack. But they're all spaced out. Nowhere to be found in their own bottom jungle. Dyer's bottom tower. Don't look good. Oh, I might spoke too soon. No. no heal able to come out for Rappy. He's gonna fall down there right away. Wait, what's this? Oh my yeah. bottom tower is under so. attack. Yep. Radiant fortified the structures. Pretty good move if you ask me. The drum there. So I expect Omni is gonna TP Dyer's down bottom, bottom for a bit around. of fight. As well as the TP ready on looking too steady. Get the train ready for your overgrowth. Radiant stop tower just tapped out. Rapido has to actually walk back. And they actually got root on the storm plus silence plus stun. And that's gonna be storm down AQ. Giving out 378 gold. Morph actually morphed into Lifestar and slow down the YRG and he's gonna go down as well. Purify Life Sealer. Finishing Yep, the armlet now. Which he's 0 2 and 2. So we're I suppose he's gonna actually join more fights right after. Morphling recovering quite well, rushing for E Blade. In which seems to be really effective, unless getting countered by that of Oracle. Begin. Right there, face edicts. Youth. Morphling pretty aware of. As well as Trian, pretty aware of where Nyx Assassin is, so. Preemptively casting the Living Armor. Ooh, fly solo actually getting dragged in, uh, slow dragged in as Kalush is gonna fall there as well all five heroes from for the dream ramming into the two of neon esports doesn't look good for morph at all after actually coming back from the early disadvantage that doesn't really isn't really ideal for him. Oh yeah, <laughs> first 10 kill. Oh yeah, sorry about net worth. My bad. I'm over here. Die is bottom tower. Don't look right, good. So net worth on a storm, 8.1k, and morphing. Oof. Zip. 2k in bit behind and then Crypto is going to fall down as well Sun is going to be in vain Trian might be able to find where Storm is I'm in mana though and he's actually going to take you out there Overgrowth ready so they might actually look to commit a fight here or just deny the tier 1 tower and just pretend nothing happened or just healed up yeah I forgot about Trian Is this TS strategy? Like what OG did against uh, LGD? <laughs> Healing out all the towers. I mean, they're still holding up the bottom tower. So... Yeah, close fight for first 10 kills indeed. Turn off the music. Alrighty. So Nyx actually spotting out Morphling, but he morphed into strength and time. And that's gonna be the end of it. Around 2k gold away from getting the E Blade. And Morph Life is gonna be much, much way easier. Sven Dyer's top with tower the is about to be saber. Radiant's top Looks rubble. As you drop someone down. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Guess they found no one with the game sense of for the dream as you spot Neon in their jungle. As with the wards, they have there inside the enemy jungle as well. 
Gaia's top tower is about to be Radiant's top rubble. Oh, Arcane Root for Soul is Spirit. With the Kaya plus a bit of Orchid, then. Oh, Morphling. Looking to commit for a bit, but not just yet. Oh, they actually spot Trian right there. Will they actually see him? I think they might have might have seen him. And. Oof. Now that's a dead Trian's protector. Neon actually have to fall back. Room Troll fall as well, fell as well. Sven trying to burst down the Nyx, but it's gonna not able to do so with the Spike Carapace. Word of the Dream, actually gonna proceed with a Rocha uh, Roche opportunity. And the first Roshan seems to be in the hand of the Dream. Roshan's dead! Man, him in that ages. Glad I never messed up that bad! Orchid finish, plus a bit of time for the arcane rune, so they can actually seize the opportunity to actually go for more. Zap. Especially with the storm. Next, Lust Stone. Oh! <laughs> Storm Spirit picking the 400 health talent so we can actually stay in fight for much longer. With Darks here. Is he done with the Greaves? No, he's not gonna go for the Greaves just yet. Enough mana to actually use the mechanism itself, even with the 225 mana cost. I'm gonna go for Blink for a better initiation slash counter initiation. All ones Omni Knight looking to s s steal the rune, but not gonna be able to do so. Too fast for you, but instead Storm Spirit. Where's the party? So Aetherlin's done. Need one more level into Phantom's Embrace to actually be able to screw up with the Storm a bit more with one extra hit. So they can have extra lockdown, being Sven and that of Trian Protector. Radiant's middle tower is under Even attack! Now, the bottom tower stand off. Pipe nearly done on Omni Knight. It's gonna handle quite a, a big chunk of damage coming out from Storm Spirit, Nyx, Oracle, and yeah, four of the uh, four of the Dreams hero. And the last one they have to be careful is actually Lifestealer, <clears throat> who has oh armlet plus mail at the moment. Infest bomb attempt coming up. They're gonna be spotted on the ward, so Neon might actually look to ambush them. I think they Sonic as well. So yeah, but the ward is not there, boys. They're actually gonna get ambushed oh, right Dyer's about. Two. Well, Trian uh, might actually get spotted there. Cameraman, please do a good job. Oof! A nice condemnation coming up from Nyx. Three man stun and. It's gonna be a counter from Sven. Mark as brought down the next assassin as well as Storm Spirit. Will he be able to bring out his second life? GA coming out and Storm Spirit is gonna go pick off uh, RR. Meanwhile, his team YRG and Red Panda actually falls back and falls down. Looking to be a really good counter initiation from for the Dream, but the God Strength Sven plus everything actually returned. In two kills in return, even three if you count the ages. I'm over here. Oh, fast hand Peace. by Morphling. But that's gonna be, not gonna be enough. So I should bring down the Storm Spirit with the health talent, but he's gonna morph to strength and seems to be living Zip. for now. Yes. Oh my. That's a really, really tanky morphling.
even with the E blade only. I gotta say though, that was a really nice stun by Nyx Assassin. Seems like a mini Ravage. But yeah, couldn't really do enough. Uh, didn't really have the enough output of the damage. So they got returned from the Sven. Yeah, probably the reason why Sven is really broken this patch. Like, look at that. He actually resisted the Nyx counter stun, plus every single thing Radiant's that middle for the green put attack. on him. Killed two of them, and then got back to full life in a few, with the help of uh, Omni Knight, of course. Yeah, <laughs> no wonder. So when BKB done, fights are gonna be more effective for Mark from now on. And also piped on. Next would be, of course, Guardian Greaves. Might actually be uh, Crimson's Guard as well. With all the damage coming out from Life Stealer. He's gonna go for the Manta soon. To actually go. So you go off from both roots. From both uh, the Q and the E of Screen's Protector. Dyer's middle tower looks to be disintegrating. Pause 5 3 and oh my. That's a sad thing to look at. Oh, season five main. I understand you guys. Meanwhile, you know, Grimstroke is not that far from Omni Knight in terms of net worth. Glimmer Cape to actually Dyer's resist your teammate for nearly 50% magic resistance. If you actually put the Glimmer on Morphling plus, plus Pipe. Wish full time. That Morphling is gonna stand so long. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Either case, so it's gonna be two for two rune. One, two, three. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five. Radiant's bottom no, no, no. power needs a Yeah, hand. four, four. My bad. That's the bottle. Sorry. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower you needs a hand. Uh, for the dreams item. Dyer's right, so middle tower is under attack. Face boots. Maelstrom. Manta finish. Plus armor. Dyer's structures are fortified. The Guardian Greaves on Darkseer finish. Guardian Greaves and Blink Dagger. Also Blink Dagger on Nyx Assassin for that mini Ravage, of course. And on the way towards Bloodstone. I think he got it now, but it's close saving for the buyback. In case like he got bursted down so he can come back no wolf. Too soon. Gem plus Zap. Yep. An arcane wound as well. Oh my. This rumor is gonna go out of mine. Plus bloodstone. 2.2k HP. That's a really tanky storm. If you ask me. Will Morphling be able Radiant's to bring him down though? Tower is under no item from Oracle, of course. And then she dusts it on the Trient. Not gonna be able to do some overgrowth. And Morphling is actually gonna go down as well. Sven, not enough, even with the BKB. That's oof. And stun going off. Our R actually gonna fall down. Three heroes falling down from the side of Neon. Four, even. Not the right play, I suppose. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh -ho! Yeah. Dyer's middle tower is taking attack. Morphling actually up. didn't have time to actually Dyer's react. He got bursted down quite quickly. And seems to be one Rex down, at least. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is falling. A strategic pause.
Is this how Dyer's middle barracks fall? Yeah, I gotta say, though, all the planks. Then actually coming out to burst on the Darks here. Soulbind links towards the Nyx as well. Guardian, uh, Guardian Angel plus the Root coming out. Storm actually getting silenced. But it's gonna be able to go out. With the Sun from Sven. We should be able to get out. Half mana. Seems like he's gonna be able to go out. As well as, oh, that's a bold move. That's your TP there. Coming out from Oracle. Healing and harm. Welcome, running a bit low on mana. Looking to use a shrine. Radiant's middle so you tower really, is really need the love. that manta. Radiant's middle so tower has fallen. Same to fight. As well as a bit tankiness. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. I should need both Satanic and uh, Scotty. So I should roam around that freely on top of that uh, manta style. Sven doesn't really have any item progression at the moment, so 12 or. Yeah, a bit before you have Chrysalis, but. That alone might not even be enough damage output. Would need level 18 for extra damage from God's strength. Meanwhile, Radiant's Storm approaching for the Shiva's attack. guard, which he Dyer's most likely tower is under get in a few minutes. And Darks here aiming for the pipe Dyer's as well, so the damage Don't output from more good. with the E-Blade combo is gonna be slightly hindered. Not slightly, to be fair. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Injured. And for Omni Knight, a thousand gold away before Dyer's you can actually get the is under attack. So you can get out of the root, and Haste. yeah, to be fair, just the root and the slow coming out from Life Sealer. Fly solo might actually spot out AQ. Nope, no one knows he's there. Over here now. Over here now. More really need that. Zip! Zip! AQ, half mana down, still have a TP. Looking what to stay for a bit. Might as well go on the Morphlane with the Orchid he has. But mid lane though, four heroes from Fort Dream is actually pushing in. He can handle it himself. No, Omni Knight. Rappi's gonna fall down as well. Blow the man down. Getting five man gangbang there. For the rematch, actually go for a rush attempt here. <laughs> Delicious actually getting spotted out. A bit short on the waveform. Morphin back, but he might actually kill down the storm, but nope. He's gonna get saved. A bit of heal, and he's gonna be back to full. Yeah, nearly full. Morphling down for a minute. He doesn't really have buyback. For the dream, actually scouted out the Roshan with the courier, and they're Don't gonna take down this tier one finally. Dyer's structures are fortified. In just a, in just a minute. Dyer's bottom tower and is under continuing attack. Continuing to go for the second Roshan. So this is supposed to be Roshan hey, with cheese, and Dyer's next is gonna be Aghanim or yeah. Refresher Shrine. Five seconds before Morphling is up. Dying Rush dropping down really, really soon. Attack. Doesn't look like Neon can do anything here. Gosling popped out, but Please not gonna be able to do so. And they're forced to actually fight. Brought down dogs here. No, did it put down the wall? No. Sven actually beating down the life stealer. And it's Storm once again who actually picked up the ages. Shiva's guard pretty soon to be done on him. I will put you to good use. Sven really need that. What is it? Oh yeah, Orchid as well to bring down the storm by himself. So Storm doesn't really have BKB or any self saving matter from the silence. So Nyx here having the Yules, 
not gonna be able to save save the storm, but yeah, in the meantime, he can save himself from the silence here. As well as Soulbind. In the meantime, we only are done on life stealer, so damage output is gonna be insane. Both physical and magical. More flame morphing the storm to clear down the way for a bit. <clears throat> Three and getting a bit of wind lace. Doesn't really have any item. Oracle looking to finish the Aether Lens. Oh, bottom lane, life are getting initiated on, but nothing gonna come out of that. Morphling getting initiated on. So full on HP, gonna e plate himself for a bit, turning back towards his own self, and gonna beat, and he's beating down the life stealer. The Guardian Angel coming out for the Reaper really do some any damage at the moment. Morphling looking to be beat down the life stealer. Storm getting locked a bit, but he's gonna be able to flash out. Now Morphling actually be the one getting chased. With zero mana. He's gonna get burned once again. Nyx actually able to reflect that silence and blink out with no problem at all. So the casualty being just Dark Seer. Once again. Regeneration. Waveform attacks. Yeah. Really, really low on mana from Rothling. That could really be a huge problem. Perhaps Axe might actually Radiant's save him from bottom tower is under attack. this situation, but yeah, it's kind of a long way to go before he can actually afford the Axe. Really need this Scotty first. As well as Satanic for him to actually be one of you wanting that life stealer even with these kind of items. 20% evasion. So Daya's top shrine is under attack. Either Sven get uh gets uh Daya's oh top never mind. Dayless finish. No wonder why he can actually the burst out <clears throat> Dark Seer that fast. Six seconds cooldown reduction on Storm Hammer, so seven seconds. So it's five seconds cooldown window before he can stun it that he can stun anyone. Without BKB of course. Alright, Pi finish on Dark Seer. Aether Lens on Oracle for the saving mechanism and Seems like, what's he gonna go for? Let me check. Sorry. Might go for a Lincoln's for himself, or maybe a Hex. For uh, instant, no. nope, it's gonna be Lincoln's here. So he doesn't really get initiated on. Trian, gonna fall down quite fast, but actually gonna be able to put down the overgrowth and storm, getting bursted down quite fast. E-Blade going on him, wouldn't really attack, and he's gonna actually fall, even Oracle's gonna save him, he doesn't really have the blood zone charge as well, as his Oracle is gonna fall as well, and Nyx looking to blink to safety, too bad Rishan's gonna, not gonna spawn until 3 minutes later, so could be a bit of push attempt. AC halfway done by Mark. Invisibility. That's a really good initiation, but not good enough that they can really bring down the tree and fast enough. If they can actually bring the tree and down fast enough, and actually leave the premises for a split second faster, then Grim's Row combo might not actually be that successful. And just 200 gold before Grimso has his Hex. Soulbind Hex can actually save the game there. Gee. Trian. Oh, hiding in the trees. Getting dusted. Kinda. Healing giving the goosebumps. Dark Seared running here and there. Putting down the Iron Shell and just Blink TP. Ain't no big time for that. Grimstroke looking to go for a Hex for maximum initiation potential. Beauty. 
four, seven. Over here now. Five hundred gold away. Seven hundred. Wait, is it? No. Six hundred gold away before Scotty. And he can live up to his name. Scottylicious indeed. Alright, five more hundred gold. Four. Four fifty. Come on. Waiting for your Scotty to live up to your name. Three. Two and a half. A bit more. Yeah, he's gonna get it from this wave of creeps. One and yep, yeah, Scotty done, and it's gonna be a fun time. Forty-eight. How much is that? Seventy-eight physical resistance. What the hell? I'm not even sure if Lifesaver can burst him down, even if with the infest one. Radiant eye scanning. And even with the How orchid. Does that even work? Uh, orchid can be Dyer's a nuisance tower. because uh, he's Don't not that good. good towards magic, but still. That's a lot of strength, though. Yeah. Dyer's Two bottom feet. towers under attack. Probably, probably enough. Radiant's middle tower's not feeling the love. Radiant structures are fortified. And after Scotty done, he's gonna hit the tower like nothing happened. No Radiant's sorcery. middle tower's under attack. Then getting. Radiant's what is it middle called? Tower I forgot the name. He's got about a few patches to go. Oh, and Sven looking to actually Don't go in and burst good. down the Oracle. No saving mechanism for. For the dream for 50 seconds, this looks to be a free rack. No storm. Shiva's done. Oh, Infest bomb, as well as the Dark Seer ultimate. But they're gonna counter with the GA. Storm, where are you? Oh, Storm, actually gonna live, live for a bit. Going back to the base with the region rune. Last year, looking to beat down. Oh, wait, what? Morphling already done. As well as Sven is gonna TP out to safety. No buyback on Morphling for 60 seconds. My people died for nothing. Battle is a spring. And Roshan is up. What stupendous! Seems like they might claim this Sir Roshan for himself. Has been killed. Sorry, let me check for a bit. Wait, no, not directed camera. Sorry. And it's gonna be Roshan with Aghanim Scepter. Whoopsies. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Zip. Which is gonna be so good for Storm, it's but he's to trying to buy it himself. Dyer's right? top tower is under attack. <laughs> or even Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Does it? I'm not sure. Over here now. Cameraman. Dyer's oh. top tower is under attack. Three and falling down from 80 seconds. Seven seconds before Morvling comes up, but without the overgrowth, Dyer's this scene looks to be attack. so grim for Neon. The armor of our Dyer's Dyer's bottom go in. Under He's gonna Manta out, and that should beat the crap down of everyone. Sven doesn't activate his BKB yet. He's gonna do so about. Not just yet. Where's the body? Storm actually Dyer's needs to go back to get the Grimstroke. He's gonna he get in Hex, Talon, Oracle down no once more. again by Morphling. Sven looking to chase for more. Not gonna be able to do so. For me. And Storm gonna get away. Grim really good job from Grimso actually buying attack. time for Storm without getting killed. Zap. Zip. Oh, they actually oh, spot oh. each other there. Will they be able to actually catch someone? Storm is so low on mana. Morph, can you actually go in there, please? Nope. BKB from Storm. First use, I think. Yep. So Storm BKB. Looking to be such a hard game to catch. So aside from getting stunned and... Getting Hex doesn't, see, doesn't really look like no they can catch bombs. Storm that easily anymore. The BKP. Morphling looking to fall once again. Will he though? Actually getting healed by the Guardian Greaves. And getting Hex as well as Soulbind. So Storm couldn't really flash away. Stunned by quite a long time. 
and he's gonna fall. One or seconds on Storm Spirit. Nick's 80 seconds, but has buyback though. So Roshan's still up. I think they can actually go for that. Could be a real good use for Morphling. She your eyes blind. Three two two six four four nine six six. Oh my. AC soon to be done on Sven. I think he's quite, he's quite close. Yeah, I probably need one one K away. But we'll see who they Maybe actually give the agony to. Enemy. It could be given to Omni Knight, I think. Are under actually give the tower Healing 40 shock. HP regen as well. Scepter duration. 10 seconds. The Ren what? what? Radiant's Curry getting killed. Oof. Oh, Darkseer looking to actually go for the snatch, but not going to be able to do so. Rush is going to fall down now, and it's going to be... Who's going to pick it? Please, please. What? Wait, what? Are you serious? Aegis is getting denied. No one actually picked him up. Darkseer denied Aegis with the illusion from the wall replica. Who actually got the... I'm getting consumable. Yeah, it's gonna be Omni Knight. <clears throat> Probably the uh, the most efficient one. I mean, he's kind of hard to get burst down. With my flat, uh, five minute region. Uh, okay. Well, that seems to be okay. And there's a man. If he actually picked Ejenora, that would be kind of huge. All ones will break. And the Grace cooldown eight seconds. Cooldown reduction, heal, yeah, could be plus 200 heal, 500 heal, that's kind of a lot, especially in the late game. Abyssal Blade, soon to be done oh, by last year. Oracle, yeah, I think he's done with his item build now for Oracle, he just needs the cast range, oh, he actually pick the cast range over the gold per min yeah i mean that's all his job that's the, his only job to put down false promise from anywhere possible and that's all for him to do nix trying to go for what is it called the nullifier sure that morphling is actually screwed nullifier from sven as well Oof, Morphling getting stunned for a bit, but hey, 4k HP Morphling, what you gonna do? 4k HP, uh, HP plus 260 damage, 3.5 now, but hey, still, that's a lot. And two waveform charges, lag for a bit, yeah, server is kinda not that good for today. Rimstroke, Aether Lens, yeah, and everything. We only need the uh, Aeon Disc to actually survive. Storm, and then that's all he has to do, and he can provide with a lot of hexes, a lot of soul pines, silence all. Gee, he needs level 20 though. One more hit on Phantom to kill, it's actually gonna be huge. Four hits on Storm, if he doesn't have VKB, he's dead for. Medallion on Trian, really need. It to be a uh, solo crest first event. Three, two, one, let's go! From charging out. Meanwhile, Morphling, thanks for the morph. I'm just gonna rage and just hit your base. 300 damage casually with 2k HP and 45 armor. Oof, this guy's actually gonna get burst. He's gonna get saved, will he? Can he actually use cheese? And he's gonna use cheese. So Morphling actually pushed Storm back in. Grimshow. Or we drop down the soul mine, but Storm is gonna fall. No One hundred seconds, but he's gonna buy back right away. Sven looking to fall here, or nope, not just yet. Getting locked down. Last year, sun sun sunning down the Omni Knight, and he's gonna go down for hundred seconds with two minutes on buyback. Oof. But either way, he doesn't have Guardian Angel, so doesn't really matter. Much. It's 
Storm though, getting delayed for a bit on his item, on the Aghanims. It's gonna go for another infest bomb attempt. I've been wanting this. Wait. Still need 300 for buyback. Storm is gonna jump in. BKB on Morphling. Bought just before the fight. Grimstroke actually getting brought down without A on this. And two bu imminent buyback coming out from Grimstroke and Trim Protector. Sven looking to actually solve for the cooldown. 20 seconds. BKB ready. Last year, half HP. Looks to be really intense. Nice vacuum from Darks here. They're gonna get rooted. Uh, oh, Grimstroke is dying once again. Morphling gonna get brought down, and he's gonna buy back as well. Sven ready with his ultimate, and but BKB used. This doesn't really look good here. Oracle using the false uh, move speed instead of false promise invisibility. Top are For the dream, attack. looking to beat down the racks with no mercy at all. Top Five is seconds slow. before Everyone's Omni Knight is up, and ten seconds before they have the GA once again. Twenty-five through. seconds Don't until they have that root as well. Morphling looking to go down quite fast, but BKB is finished once again. Oh, One more vacuum. GA will be used now, nah, not just yet. It's gonna get stalled for a bit. No, nope, actually cancel that. Storm getting really, really low. If this storm falls now, it's going to be really bad for, for the dream. Actually going to be able to ditch, uh, ditch out. But that seemed to not be enough, even with a false promise. Sven getting beat down by Lassiter. No, the other way around. Lester looking to actually try his fate here. No buyback at all from anyone. There's only Lifesaver at the moment that has buyback in the game. Someone has to go back to defend the base. So Grimstro coming up in one second. So that should be the guy in charge as well as the Treant. And they're going to send their three cores to push once again. 3-2-2. Powered by 3-2-2. <laughs> oh my. Next with no axe is useless. Yeah, kinda. I mean, he can go for the uh, nullifier and be a bit of nuisance, but not gonna be enough. Agreed. Morphin actually lost a lot of gold in the buyback process. Six minutes till the buyback as well. Meanwhile, Storm is down five minutes. <laughs> I think Morph could really use Satanic. I mean, yeah, Butterfly is okay. also good, but Where, Satanic what? might actually be the one he, the thing he needs right now. But we'll see. Oh my! Are you serious, Gavin? Double damage, 15 minutes Meanwhile. in for Morphling. Are you serious? Fear not heresy. Sven actually found the Nyx and bring him down with the help of Nullifier. All the slows, all those slows. Last year, actually forced to buy back. Warfling with six, seven hundred damage. He's gonna beat down the racks. Wait, what? Oh yeah, he got pushed down. Fifty seconds on Storm. 3v5. No sorceries Seems like Neon is looking to seal the deal this game. Kinda nice vacuum, but that's not gonna be enough with the Grimstroke, Soulbite, and Hex, and Shotgun as well. Darkseer falling down, Oracle falling down. Lifesteer looking to actually fight and delay the game, but it's a GG. That Radiant team's just letting die a bang on their agent. Oh, what an 